Oh boy. Lord help me. I want to see a steel samurai rehearsal just once. You really like the steel samurai, huh? Of course I do. I've taped every show, and I go to the live performances, all of them. That's impressive. Have you been to the amusement park? Of course, duh. My dad always takes me. Poor, poor dad. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. <clears throat> Is that day the first time you've been to the studio? Uh, actually, I've been a couple of times. I never managed to get there on rehearsal day. That security lady's always yelling. Right, right. Please continue. Chill, Pops. I'm getting to it. How am I supposed to talk when you cut him off all the time? Jeez. Ooh. I went through the woods off the path so the old lady won't catch me. Off the path? Yeah, you know how the studios are in a valley there. If you go off the path a little, there's woods. That's where I was. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. Anyhow... I was going for the studio. Did nothing unusual happen on your way to the studio? Unusual? Did you see this monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. So he went straight to the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though, for about 30 minutes. You got lost in the woods? Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, was I relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But guess what happened next? When I came out by the studio, there was a steel samurai. The steel samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? It totally rocked right before my eyes out came the bad guy. What sort of bad guy was it? A guy? A person? Kinda tall? Skinny? Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know. He was kinda far away. Huh. He's being awfully vague. Of course, the seal samurai took him down. Pow! What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well, well, he kind of didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. I, I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor! He he he. Yes, I suppose he was. If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time of a shot. I tell ya. If you had your camera, you mean you weren't carrying your camera then? N no, I wasn't. It it's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix! Remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but f be firm. Easy for you to say, lady. Alright, I think we all know... <clears throat> ...what the contradiction is here, right? Come on. Come on, man. Brand new camera? Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you just say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You're quite clear about that. Huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. Uh oh, was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child, so... I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody? Wh what Yeah, so I had my camera, so what? You got a problem with that? So you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? Wh why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. <clears throat> Please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching.
Y yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. The Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. The Steel Samurai rules. Hmm. Ah, uh, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. My throat's starting to <clears throat> hurt. Yeah, yeah, I have my camera with me. So why don't you use it? Look, he's getting to that. Relax and listen. Um, I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. So you're watching the Seal Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Y yeah, of course. You didn't turn away, not even once. N no. Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Y yeah, I'm getting to that. The Seal Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! So the bad guy attacked him first. Yeah. What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person. He was a person. How was he dressed? N I kind of don't remember. I was too busy watching the seal samurai. I see. And what happened next? Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? What? Well, because the Seal Samurai brought him to justice! And how exactly did he do that? How did he do it? Uh, with a Samurai kick and a Samurai punch, Samurai chop, Samurai slap, something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops! How should I play this? Press him harder. Cody? W what Something's bothering me. Before you said that, you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah So what? Yeah, you missed the most important part. Objection! What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. Objection! You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of a murderer uses Samurai Slap? <laughs> My point is this, Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight, but you missed the most important part, the killing blow, Wazam! Order, order! Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, um, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think. Why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you, you can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Seal Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Alright. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Evidence. Why did Cody look away from the f fight? Whose line was that? Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operaciones. I'm aware of that too. Ah! Correct! Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. What, what's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking out little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody is lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right. <laughs> Cody, there's only one person why you... Well, only one reason why we, you would have looked away from the fight. And that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used, used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Uh, yeah. Well, Phoenix, 
I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. R right Mia means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackens testify once more. Very well. Cody, could you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um... Welcome to the real world, kid. Alright. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. <laughs> so I held up my camera to take a picture. <laughs> but the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. But that's all that happened. Yep. Hmm. Yep, indeed. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Hmm. <clears throat> if you don't mind... Alright. Yeah, you're right, Pops. Pops? Yeah, I called you Pops, you spike-haired geezer. G geezer? I'm Mr. Edgeworth. And I guess I'm the Peter Gentleman. That's what I hate about grown-ups. You're all so self-conscious. What? Okay, off with the kid gloves. Testify, witness. Testify. Yipes! The seal samurai just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh, I guess the seal samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely. So I held up my camera to take a picture. Why can you take a picture? My new camera has too many buttons. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. When the lens opened, what did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground and the seal samurai. Th that's all that happened. Yep. That's all? Y yeah, I told you I I didn't take a picture. Hmm. I would have I would have once I got the lens open. Did you really not take a picture? Not even one? Hmm. Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody? Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye? How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It is one of my powers. W wow This feels great. <laughs> y yeah yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you could change your discipline to reflect this, Cody. I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. You erased them? Y yeah why would you erase a picture of your beloved seal samurai, Victorious? Well, you know. W why would I want to keep a picture like that? Hmm. It's become less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction soon, or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Take up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid's all about. Alright. <clears throat> oh, shit. Alright. Erase them? I don't think you did, Cody. And I got proof. Cody? What? what Man, every time you see Cody, you follow up with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Uh oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Seal Samurai lands a final blow. Wizam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackers. It claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Sea Samurai has won. I... I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? 
Among all his pictures of the Seal Samurai, none were taken that day. Huh. Was out. Order! Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Seal Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly wouldn't expect to see a picture of him on this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. Um. Ah, ah, ow, 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 ow. No, wait, no way! Phoenix? I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. M Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually. Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what the truth is. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased a photo that he took? <laughs> Easy, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right on it. Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. N n n no way! No! It's it's impossible. The, the Seal Samurai never loses. He never loses anyone ever. Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Seal Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Seal Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Seal Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth! Uh, order! I would have order! W witness! I mean, Cody! Is this true? W what did you see? Tell the court what you saw! I... I... Where? <laughs> Cody, that day you saw the Seal Samurai lose a fight, right? Well, okay, okay, you're right. The Steel Samurai f fell down, but then he didn't move. <laughs> well. Order, order, order. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Seal Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet, according to your witness testimony, the Seal Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? The Steel Samurai was the victim. If you understand what really happened, it's quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Seal Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order, order, order! So, the Steel Samurai in this photograph. You saying that this man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Powers' foot injury. But, but wait! Hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Obag said in her testimony? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? No. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Uh, but why would the victim do such a thing? I... I don't know. I get it. Huh? I thought that this Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo of my digital camera. 
Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. Wh what? Show us quick. No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. No! Sniff. Here, this is it. Well, looking at this, it's still a lot to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't the size of evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia? What? Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? What? Your, your Honor, g g give back! Certainly, uh, I don't see why not. <laughs> Phoenix, Sham! There's a glaring decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. <clears throat> Allow me. Right here. The Steel Samurai? Yes, that's about the only thing in this picture that could be inconsistent. The seal sound right is inconsistent with something. Objection. Right? This is no time for daydreaming and pointless pontification. Think about your client and us who are forced to listen to your rambling. That's right. Please rethink your position. Oh, okay. I mean... I mean, I thought it was because he wasn't limping, but... I guess it's the fact he was going to Studio One as well. That's another thing, right? I think it's here. You seem to be lacking even more confidence than usual. I suppose that's because I'm not confident about it at all. Maybe you want to rethink your case, Mr. Wright? Yes, please, Your Honor. What the f- Okay, I, get, I mean, yes, I, I know that it looks like an S, but... Okay, fine. Put it over there. Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate? Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Hold on, let me get my glasses. Uh, ah, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clear not a one, Your Honor, correct? Ah! I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But, but, th that's impossible. Mm -hmm. Eh? What is all about? Please explain so I, I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. I'll use the Studio Guy map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Right on that two. Here at Studio Two. I see! That would, would explain the two on the gate of the photo. <laughs> Your Honor, I find it very significant that the number... The, that the murder took place in Studio 2. As you may recall, there's a trailer in Studio 2. And on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer, yes. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. Yes, okay. <clears throat> During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Ms. D. Vasquez were outside, eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime! The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio One. Yet in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with the access to the scene of the murder, crime, Studio Two. Uh, order! Order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio Two. The person that the security guard, Miss Olbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a st steel Stammer costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness! Jack Hammer is a victim! The victim! Why would he steal a steel Stammer costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? 
W well, no, of course not. Hmm. How do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim jackhammer stole the costume. Um, I guess I have proof. Yeah, sure, I'll give you proof. Y you do? You do, Mr. Wright? Not that this was a price, suddenly I'm l much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Oh, yeah, I do have proof. Here's my proof. Right here. This is it. An empty medicine bottle. I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads, reads, Sleeping Pills. Sleeping Pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicion, yes. But there's no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Fingerprint the bottle. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. <clears throat> I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. Yoink. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Kodiakin's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The new samurai seen by Miss Oberg may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio 1, but Studio 2. And those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Is it right? Yes, Your Honor. Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for, for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework, Dad. Miss Edgeworth, hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. No more extension. I would not hear any of this. Court is adjourned. Alright. <clears throat> Phew! That was a close one. <laughs> we were saved by a hair. That's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times that during the trial. Me, me too! <laughs> really? You will seem so so confident. Ha! Maybe I should take up a career in acting? I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too! D dead Ho oh, ho, of course, we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go and make uh, fu our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. R right Thanks, Sniff. To be continued. Sniff. <laughs>